Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Through the state again. Now we're going to cover the good old Nasdaq composite, where a lot of our trading stocks uh, reside. Same chart, so follow it carefully. We have a daily here, which is intermediate to longer term view. This is the uptrend line here, going all the way back to April 2013, quite a bit, and we can clearly see what's going on. We hit the roadblock up here. Um, where I drew the fibs from, we have a uh, on on a long on a, on a uh, longer term basis, which I think very very well happens uh, by the fall. We get a 50% retracement down here, which is going to feel very very ugly. Short term, there is extremely powerful support at um, at this level where we have bounced up from. You know, called it. This was right when we launched the service again. I repeat, April 15. We could very well come and test this uh, uptrend line here, which is around uh, 42, 33. This could happen as early as Monday or Tuesday, I believe, because things happen very fast these days. And or we are holding the 50 right here, this red line. The dotted line is the 34, slice through the 34 like we did here, and uh, we could very well b uh, bounce back and test the 34, which I think is the second scenario which very well might transpire this week. So you sell at the 34. There's a gap here at around the 4,400 level. If we get there, then all bets are off. Shorts have to be covered big time, and then the market will basically act like it did a cup and handle pattern, um, which I'm going to show right now. This being the very large cup. This being the breakout. This is the handle that's been created right now. Okay, So this scenario is still there. If this holds, then we're going to basically attempt the third third attempt and possibly break out for a bit because this is the first attempt right here, second attempt, and almost the third attempt to break out, fail, and did what, what it did. So again, when you look at the bigger context of things, nothing really changed in the NASDAQ. And no wonder the NASDAQ was pretty damn strong uh, overall when you look at um, when you look at what happened on uh, on, on, on Friday. So saying all that, um, we have we have this. That's one scenario. All right, we have the large cup, the handle, and the breakout. Look at those stochastics, simple visuals. Very very oversold. This is a multiple oversold conditions like we had here. So we you know. So we'll have to keep in mind that uh, if this scenario plays out, where we go to thirty four and we slip again. Um, you know that's when all hope is lost, right? You just never want to buy or go long, and that's when the market turns. So again, one has to have a directional bias. If they think this is the ultimate top, then obviously go ahead and short every every rally, or not buy any dip. Um, but um, we'll see what happens. Looking at these overall things at as uh, inter uh, short term bottoms, intermediate term bottoms. These are the ones. This was the big one. This was a big one. Look where we were in stochastic. This is where we are. Um, and uh, you know just. Keep this chart in mind. I'll try to repost this chart again. These pivot charts on um, on Monday. Let's look at the. Let's get out of. Let's get the squigglies out. Let's look at the hourly. Bingo. Interesting. Let me get this out here and take it out. Delete. All right. Hourly chart. Give a slightly different. This is what the dead cat bounce chart is. As I like to call it. So what do we see here? This is a fast and furious trade. You get in, you get out, and you get out fast. So we have a positive divergence going on. Even though we made a new low here at 12 p.m. on the 1st of, uh, look at the date down here, okay, uh, of August, last fr uh, this Friday, look what's happening down here. This is starting to move up. So this is a minor positive divergence that's building. Thanks to some powerful players, thanks to some of our powerful winners, the Twitters, the LinkedIn's, um, and some <clears throat> sharp moves on uh, 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 on Tesla, the whole works. So these things are playing up in you know obviously they're within this uh, uh, index and they're showing up in there. So the pivots are showing me this the green lines are the up pivots look one pivot crosses the 34 the started line being the 34 moving average in this case 60 minutes is the 34 day moving average in the 60 minute there's the 50 
Um, so all these, you know, this is the lower Bollinger. We, we slip through, I'm sorry, mid Bollinger. This is the upper Bollinger crawling down. So again, this pattern might be playing out here. Let me show you the Fibonacci retracements. Again, I repeat, it takes a while to understand. Understanding is easy, but to really uh, uh, um, decipher the movements by looking at all these different things. But you know, I do it, and so far it's worked very well, and I'm not complaining. They just don't work on my timing. Like I said, exactly, I could be 24 to 48 hours off, but they do get there. So, very simply, let me get my squiggly out. I believe we're going to test the 34, which is also the back end of this uptrend, broken uptrend line. So that's around 4,400. So that could be on the heels of some of the tech companies that are delivering this week, earnings. Priceline being one of them. We're going to cover earnings in tomorrow night's report, or I will put together an earnings list later tonight. In fact, I very well might do that, yes. There is a gap here. Obviously, if this gap gets filled, um, it's too, uh, dogmatic shorts are really going to lose their shirt. And if this happens, keep in mind that um, unlike uh, the daily chart, um, we, have, uh, we actually have a sharp falling wedge. I'm drawing it with this one. Okay, so bullish falling wedges tend to break out. And the levels that we're looking at, let me get this line out. If I draw this. It's a very sharp people who are familiar with my work know very well that I these bullish falling wedges have a 80% probability and sometimes more of working out but they happen very fast so you have to be quick so what am I looking at I am basically looking at these levels I move up from here test the back end line here and fail or we slip down test this lower Bollinger here and bounce from here if we fail again here then we're really going down okay so these are the levels to watch out for and as certainly as I always do I'm going to be engaged all throughout the day to let people know what's going on and of course they have to do their efforts and their homework are they meaning all of you to monitor your own charts and understand what the market is doing so that's uh, that's the Nas uh, that's the Nasdaq. Um, we are going to cover now the Russell 2000 and the biotech index quickly, and then uh, we are going to uh, wrap it up.